Hey guys, I hope you are having a wonderful day, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys a quicker route through the treasure maze in Potter World Minecraft. Um, there is a couple things that I want to talk about before I get right into the tutorial on this faster way. Um, and one of those things is I wanted to say thank you guys for all the support on my last video. Um, I currently believe that I am at 475 views on that video which is phenomenal for my channel and I also have like 21 likes um, and I've gained like a sub or two uh, so thank you guys uh, that have been watching the video and I am very glad that I can help so many of you guys out um, one thing I did want to say though is if the video does help you guys out I would really appreciate it if you could go ahead and subscribe to me um, that is one of the things that I noticed was even though I have 475 views on the video, and yeah, I get some of them can be repeats of the same people, but generally it would get like 20 to 50 views a day, yet I've only gained like one subscriber from it. So, I mean, I would really appreciate it, you know, since I'm helping you guys, um, if the video does help you out, and I do help you in this, uh, through this, like, video... Uh, please do go ahead and uh, subscribe to me. Um, anyways, that being said, right here, I just wanted to show you guys uh, in the video that if you wanted to talk to me at all, if you had any questions, anything you wanted to send me in the mail, uh, this is how you do it. So you would go to the Allery through your port key bag. Um, you walk up to the mailbox, and you basically type, or you click on send mail, and then it makes you type the person's name in chat. If you want to send me mail, uh, I know that in game I changed my nickname, so it's Mr. J Gaming uh, YouTube for um, for my nickname. But if you want to send me mail, you have to send it to my original name, which is Owens seventy seven O W E N S seven seven. So that is how you guys can uh, send me mail in game if you choose to do so. Uh, I've already had a few people from, uh, after posting my last video on the treasure maze, like, send me things in the mail, you know, saying thank you, or tips to make the video better, um, which is kind of why I'm here right now, and I'm going to show you an easier way to do the treasure maze. So, one of the things that I noticed, aside from that I found, a, a part in the maze where I found a quicker route. I did notice that um, I did notice that in the last video I made, I did go pretty fast. Now I tried to slow it down because I'm it's so automatic to me. I'm so used to just flying through it. So I decided that it was best for me to make this video in a very slowed down version. So yes, uh, the video is longer. So it might not, it might seem like, hey, the, he's not showing a faster way through the maze. Um, that's not true. The way I'm showing you does shave about 20 to 30 seconds off of um, what my last video showed. But uh, I definitely just slow it down. As you can kind of see here, I kind of inch. I'm taking turns slow and stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope that this does... Uh, help you guys and I hope that this is slow enough for you guys, but it's not too unbearably slow uh, If this video is too slow for you guys. Um, I suggest skipping towards uh, Kind of around the end of the video uh, Like maybe a minute or two before the video ends uh, that is where the uh, change Will be where I take a different like a slightly different route to make it faster so you could go check that out and then you if for the future you could just watch my old video that shows me kind of flying through the maze if you want a quicker version of it. Uh, so basically, as you've noticed, I'm kind of you you if you're not familiar with this maze, you might be like, "Oh, why is he like not just walking through this open part?" Well, that's because there are invisible blocks in these open parts. So basically what I have to do a lot of times is I just push forward with W and I just kind of like kind of slide myself along the blocks that are 
like in along the invisible blocks until it makes me kind of slip through an opening. So yeah, um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys, you know, oh, turn right, turn left. So just please pay attention to the video. Um, but yeah, so this is... This is pretty much, I I think that the treasure maze is the fastest, eh, well, it's not necessarily the fastest way to earn money in Potter World, technically, I mean, you can find other ways, but it is the most, like, consistent way um, that you are always going to be able to get gold. Now, I've had a few people, you know, telling me, oh, this is not a good way to get gold it's very slow you can only do it once a day and you can only get a hundred gold well that I, I understand that but what I do to get a ton of gold off of this um, that some of you might be able to do if you have alt accounts or just like extra accounts for whatever reason um, is you can use the other accounts go through the maze and then once you finish the maze on all your accounts and you have like the gold, just transfer the gold over to your new or to your main account. So basically I did this with like three accounts. So every day I was I was earning three to you know, three to four hundred gold. So yeah, um, so yeah, that is a way that you can you can earn a really decent amount of gold from this maze. Um, once you once you kind of learn it and you get used to the path, I mean, you can just fly through it. One thing I want to talk about this part right here is again, uh, this is like an example of me just pushing forward with W. Uh, the the openings for the invisible blocks, it's kind of a diagonal path that you have to go right there. So as long as you just push W going forward through that entire part, you kind of go at a diagonal until you hit the first wall that would be on like your left when you reach that area. And then you go right on another diagonal. Um, and you just keep pushing forward with W and you won't get stopped. Uh, and you'll, you'll just push straight through the maze. So uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of getting close here. Um, I know that there is kind of one long stretch of me just walking forward pretty soon here, but then after that we will get to the uh, the change that makes the maze really fast or faster. So yeah, guys, I really do hope to see that uh, this video is helpful for you guys. Um, I hope that this is as popular as my last video. Uh, just because I, I know that uh, in the last video I was going a bit too fast and I'm showing a slower version. So I hope that this video uh, does get kind of promoted as much as the other one does. Um, I know if you just type in Treasure Maze to YouTube, the first thing you're going to find is the other video because it's uh, more popular right now. Um, but I hope that this one can catch it eventually so this better version... Um, is like the main one that gets pushed so it, it'll help people um, plus in my last video uh, in the last treasure maze video I made something was horribly wrong with the audio um, and I kind of noticed it in the gameplay audio I had too I don't know why but for whatever reason I can't get audio to run smooth with uh, OBS so basically what's happening is the audio sounds fine while I make recordings and everything but the audio always kind of gets a little corrupt and it sounds very bad and very it's horrible quality audio so i mean i hope that my my voice in this video does sound better than the last one for sure it might not be perfect but the last one was pretty terrible if you did watch it um so yeah uh if you could notice in this video though uh, this is where i was going with this is my gameplay audio from OBS sounded god awful so I actually detached the audio and just deleted it completely so that is why there's like no in-game sound right now for this video but I mean I figured just walking through a maze you don't need sound anyways um, plus the only like noise that was going on in the gameplay was just the fire in the background so um, yeah that's that's pretty much it um, but yeah, so as long as you follow this path,
path that I have taken, you have done the uh, the quickest route. So basically where they are right now, uh, those people right there, you can see they took the path. Now what I used to do is I would push back further and go behind a bunch of walls when I hit that area and it would slow me down. But I didn't realize that you could just straight up walk through the side um, of the invisible blocks pretty much right there. So yeah, as long as you follow my path, you did complete um, the quickest way. I know I kind of missed it when it came up on it. Um, but yeah, so pretty much that's all you do. And for there, right there, what I did is after you've completed the maze, you collect your reward, you go to the uh, that uh, NPC right there, and you click on them, and you go to the trade 500 game tokens for 100 gold, and that's all you got to do. So that is pretty much it for today's video, and as you can see here, we are at my housing, uh, which you guys can go out and check. Uh, I did uh, complete a complete replica of Hagrid's Hut on the right. Um, my version of Hogwarts in the back. I have a Quidditch Arena right there, and there is a huge secret under the Quidditch Arena through the entrance to the left right there. But uh, yeah, so you can feel free to type in slash housing uh, Owen77 and uh, go check out my housing. So you can go ahead and do that. And if you do that and you want to say something or have any suggestions for my housing, uh, go ahead and send me something in the mail. So that is it, guys, and I hope this was helpful, and I hope that I can see more subscribers um, coming out of this video. So thank you, guys. Peace.